Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Farm in the Philippines. G'day, Stu. G'day. Hey, we got Stu with us, guys. Say hello to Stu. She's there quiet, aren't they? Right, well, Stu's come with his lovely wife and they're going to be staying overnight. And this afternoon, we've got Alfredo to do the goats for us and we're going to be... Making... Chicken pies. Chicken pies! Because I tell you, I like his chicken pies. They're so fucking good. <gasps> Did I swear then? Oh, fuck me, I'm bad boy. So we're going to spend the afternoon making some chicken pies. So we've got everything ready. We've got everything we need. We've got these big ass chickens here. Look at the size of these. Couldn't get any smaller ones in town. Only these big bastards. So we're going to start off by doing what, Stu? We'll boil the chickens up first. And whilst they're boiling, we'll make the pastry and let it rest in the ref for an hour or so. I guess it's time for a beer or two. Or maybe even three. Maybe three. Why not? All right, let's get these on the boil and let's get going. Welcome, Stu. Right, guys, so I've just had a conversation with Stu and I said, do we put a lid on that? Because this is just pure water. No herbs, no spices, no nothing. Pure water so we can get the chicken juices out of this and into it. So I've asked him, do we put a lid on this or not? And this is what his reply was. The way we were taught when we were trained as a chef is if it's grown in the dark you put a lid on so it's cooked in the dark and if it's grown in the light then you leave the lid off so a chicken's out in the daylight so you leave the lid off so a potato you'd put a lid on because it's grown in the dark green beans you'd cook with the lid off because they're grown in the daylight how simple is that so that's what we're taught How's that, guys? Just thought we'd pass that one on. You learn something new every day, hey. So, if it's grown in the dark, put the lid on it. If it's not, don't put it on. That's the secret. See, there's all little secrets about cooking, guys. All right, guys. So, Stu's recipe. Remember, there's plenty of ways to skin a cat, mate. I'll tell you now. So, his one is two kilos of all-purpose flour and one kilo of... What's that called? Vegetable Short shortening. Shortening. Vegetable shortening, no longening, shortening. So it's a two to one ratio. So if you've got three kilos of flour, one and a half kilos of shortening. Quite simple, sift it, put it in the bowl, let your fingers do the talking. That's what my old girlfriend said once. Yeah. <laughs> right guys, so we sifted the flour and we sifted the baking powder. powder and now we're adding the shortening. shortening. Okay, so no short jokes, all right? Stacy, I know you're watching this video, you little fuck you. <laughs> no short jokes, Stacy. Hey, hey. So the shortening is going in. Right, so we've mixed every. Hello, I. Hello. G'day. G'day, my. G'day, mate. G'day, mate. G'day, mate. G'day, mate. G'day. G'day. Right, so this is where we're up to, guys. So we've got 500 mil, which is half a litre of ice water, nice and cold. As cold as my ex-wife, okay? For those of you who don't know, my ex-wife was that cold, I used to give her the beers to hold at the footy, say so putting them on ice, and she stood right next to me. I used to love that woman. She was as cold as anything. Right, what do you got, Stu? We got two kilos of all-purpose flour, one kilo of shortening, a dash of salt, and now we're gonna add the cold water. Excellent. To make our pastry. Right. So you add that until it comes together. Until it comes together. You might not need all this, it depends on the day. Humidity. Humidity and such like, but we shall see. The moon, the sun. Good day, I. Good day. Good day, mate. Good day, mate. Right, so I is very intrigued to watch and see how this gets put together. So let's add it and see what happens. About 700 mil. Yeah. Five on that. So we've used a 500 plus this little bit here. So there you go. So it's just coming together and now what we'll do, we shall cover this and put it in the ref for an hour or two and let it relax. In the who? In the ref, in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to drink some beers to make room then, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so all sealed up. Slap my bum! Come on, slap my bum! So all sealed up. This is going in the refrigerator for how long, Stu? At least an hour. At least an hour? Yeah. No, well, look, it's time to have a couple of coldies. Nah, we've got chicken to cook up yet. Only joking, guys. Right, guys, so the chicken looks ready. So what we've done, we've boiled the chicken for half an hour, 45 minutes. Then we'll just leave it in there and let it finish cooking in its own heat for the next half hour. Then we'll take it out and debone it. 
So 40, 45 minutes on boil? On boil, yep. and turn it off, and then we'll leave it for another half hour to finish off cooking in its own heat. The residual heat, beautiful. Yeah. So while that's happening, you're on to the? The vegetables that are gonna go into the pie, the fresh veg, which is onion and carrot. Then we've got some green peas and some mushrooms to add in as well, which are already cooked. I can taste it already, man. I can taste it. Okay. So what we've got in here now is the diced carrots and the diced onions. We'll just bring them up to boil and let them simmer for about five, 10 minutes just till they're al dente, and then we'll turn them off and let them cool down as well. Yummy. I want to drink this as a soup. Chicken Lovely. stock, I love chicken soup. Whisk an egg into it. Oh, and drop it down. What are you up to, big boy? Well, the veg is Get boiled. your penis off of the uh, automatic starter, oh, I can hear the clicking. I like the he's got his, he, likes, he likes putting his penis up against that. <laughs> click, 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 click. So the veg is boiled for 10 minutes. We'll now turn that off, strain it, and let it cool down. And then we can add it to the pie filling once so you're gonna, we've made the sauce. While it's hot or while it's cold, you're going to strain we'll just, it now? We'll just strain put it, it through now, the cold wrap. And then just uh, let it drain off. Beautiful. Heavy bastards, aren't they? Bastards. Alright, so we're taking these out of the stock now, and this is just going to drain here. Look at that, look at these big bastards, would Whilst you? Whilst we make the sauce with the uh, chicken and the vegetable stock. For chicken the and makes the sauce. Yeah, we'll mix them. And Gotta be happy with that, sauce. guys. Gotta be happy. So now we've got the cooked onions and the cooked carrots and we've added two tins of mushrooms and two small tins of green peas. We'll now go and make the white sauce with the chicken and vegetable stock and then we can add this and the chicken that we pull off the bone and we're ready to make the pies. Lovely. Lovely. So the cans guys are just normal cans of uh, mushrooms, any type you want, there's no problem. Green peas, yummy. Put that into there, Un under your nose, dip, 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 under your nose, smell like a rose. So what are you up to now, big boy? Well, what we did, we put the butter and a 250 gram pack of butter and 250 grams of flour. We made a root and now we're slowly adding the chicken and vegetable stock. So you've got all the flavors from your veg and your chicken going into the sauce for the pie. Mm. Where's he, guy? Yes? Yummy. Yummy. G'day, mate. G'day, mate. A lot of viewers asked if they could get chick, um, get I I to hear us say, g'day, mate. So what we're doing now is we are deboning the chicken. So we're just getting the meat off the chicken, so the pies are pure chicken and vegetable. So we tear it up into bite-sized pieces. So you keep, keep the chicken in hunks? Yeah, in hunks, so you know it's a chicken pie. You don't want two smaller pieces, but there again, you don't want two bigger pieces. But no skin? No skin, no bone, so you're not picking through it. Mm. We're Looking good, guys. So what we've done now, we've added a carton of Nestle cream into the chicken sauce that we made. And this is now ready to add to the vegetables and the chicken that we pulled off the... So it's all going to be mixed together now? All mixed together, then we're ready to roll out some pastry and make some pies. Love it. Love it. Well guys, so what we've done now, we've got the large mixing bowl out and all this is going to be mixed together all the dry stuff before the liquid gets put through that see big hunks of chicken all the vegetables the onions the carrots the peas and this is going to be the mix up then it will be followed by the white sauce get you the spatula here mate watch your dick mm. Then inside. Tell these chefs, can't you? They 
works so well. Then we just gently mix it together to, so we don't break the chicken down. Completed mix for the chicken pies, so we just need to roll this bad boy out now <clears throat> and see how many pies we can make out of it. Yummy! Next step. Next step is to roll out the pastry for eight bases. Oh. So we shall see. Gotta be happy with that, guys. So what we do now, we'll just line the bases. Then we'll fill the pies and then we'll make the tops. So we just put the pastry on and gently push it down so there's no gaps. So we get a full pie. How's it going? It's going fine. This is the fourth base we're doing now. So you start off with a circle and then just keep spinning it round. Right, guys, so the bases are made two, four, six, eight. Here we go. So now it's a matter of putting in the filling. Is there any secrets? Don't overfill, don't underfill. When is the right amount? Usually just level with the top of the, uh, the tray. Mm -hmm. If you pile it up, then it will come out the size as it's cooking. Mm. All this dough left over for the, all the tops. And if we've got any chicken left over, we're going to get out the electric pie maker. Yeah, it's not as good as these, but as a test to see what it tastes like. So we just egg wash the top of the pie now, so the top sticks to the bottom. Like that. Lovely. Just gently press them together. And we just leave that for five minutes to stick before we cut around the top. So ah. we'll come back then. So it's little secret tricks things, isn't it? Letting them wait for this five minutes here and doing something there. Makes it work. Certainly does. Right, so now we've got the tops on all of them. Now we'll just trim around the edges. Get the excess pastry off. Then what we do then, just to finish off the pie, we just crimp round the edges to make it look pretty. And there we have one chicken pie that's ready to go in the oven. So now we just put an egg glaze on the top of the pies and then we bake them for around about 25-30 minutes on a high temperature it doesn't need to be cooked slow because the the filling for the pie is already cooked so we're basically just cooking the top and the bottom of the pastry here so we just egg wash two at a time we'll cook them off and then we'll egg wash another two in a bit right guys so we got those in the oven everything is going well the stock's going into containers they will go in for beautiful chicken and vegetable stocks for our cooking later on. And what are you making now, Stu? Dessert. We're just making a crumble mix that will go on top of some blueberry and then a bit of sugar in here and that's our dessert for tonight. Yummy! I'll leave you at it. I'll get back to it. So this is the first batch coming out. Gorgeous. Look at that, first guys. Three. Five more to go. <laughs> Look at that guys, yeah. beautiful. I see it cracking early. 
So here we have it guys, eight completed chicken and veg pies and a blueberry crumble for dessert tonight. I think quite a successful day of baking mate. Very successful day. So there you go guys, so thank you very much Stu. And no don't forget, Stu, Stu has, his, has his own channel as well and he's doing a... Earthbag house. Earthbag house guys. So if you haven't seen an earthbag house being constructed in the Philippines, and what's involved go to Stu's channel which is called building our dreams vlog building our dreams vlog wow. sounds like harry ramakamara <laughs> doesn't it very erotic now seriously guys back to seriousness have a look at his blog building a house out of bags and i tell you it's not what you think and it's very popular build very strong earth break earth earthquake proof, proof. yeah and very cool for expats living over here. Typically around 20 degrees without AC because the walls are nearly two foot thick. Go and have a look guys. I'll put a link up here of his latest video on his build. So thank you Stu for showing us today on your chicken pies and your... Blueberry crumble. Blueberry crumble. Enjoy. All right guys, share, subscribe or bye. Catch you later guys, bye bye. Bye.